I'm here with Dr Blake Ratner, Director General of World Fish, to discuss why gender equity is an important part of the organisation's research. Blake, firstly, why does gender equity matter in fisheries and aquaculture? First of all, gender equality across the board is such an essential part of rural development and um, the broader sustainable development goals. Our research shows, for example, that improving gender equity can boost overall productivity in the systems, both in fisheries and in aquaculture. That improving women's income has particular gains in terms of reinvestment in health and nutrition for children in the family, for example. And that small-scale fisheries governance depends equally on the critical roles of men and women decision makers to be able to ensure equitable and sustainable management of resources. What barriers does World Fish address through its research? There are several key barriers that we've identified. One of those has to do with access to key assets for production, whether that's land, ponds for aquaculture, for example, finance to be able to invest in processing or trade enterprises. Another is technology and skills. In many of the places we work, women and men tend to have different levels of education, different access to the sorts of training opportunities that might be available. So we've got to make sure that those opportunities are tailored so that we can have more equitable participation. And lastly, and perhaps most difficult, is the social norms that can uh, make it a challenge to have equitable involvement in decision making and that sometimes block good food allocation decisions even within the household, making sure that uh, children, that girls get uh, a decent share of the fish as it's eaten in the home. And so these are things that require uh, special attention and we, we do work around social marketing and other approaches to be able to address those barriers. And finally, how does World Fish's commitment to gender equity outcomes contribute to achieving sustainable growth in fisheries and aquaculture? Well, really it's about bringing these different elements together. So increases in productivity means that more fish is available to reach the poor consumers that we're most interested in aiding, that there's more opportunity for entrepreneurship that provides a route out of poverty and builds the assets so that families can withstand different shocks, whether they be economic or ecological change, that there's overall gains in terms of the nutrition and health goals that we've outlined. All of these depend centrally on gender equity in production, in trade, and in the decisions about food and how it's managed. Thanks, Blake. Thanks for your time.